Okay, so this is take two. Um, I'm going to give two rhythm dictations for you uh, that have 30 second notes in them. So just for a quick review, um, if we are using Takadimi, which we've been using in my class for rhythm dictation, that stops working for you unless you um, start using it for smaller beat groups when you get to smaller subdivisions like 30 second notes. So then it's really helpful to just listen for where there are fast notes and how they fit into the beat. Um, and just for further clarification, if we have 3-4, that would be a simple meter for us. And so if we hear quarter note beats, one, two, three, if we hear that's eighth notes, that's sixteenth notes, and that's where we do taka di mi, taka di mi. If you hear something faster, you might be hearing thirty second notes. If you go taka di mi, taka di mi, you can hear that there are more notes happening than you have syllables for. And so, when you hear more notes happening than you have syllables for, if you're thinking in taka di mi, then you know you probably have. 30 second notes uh, uh, present, or possibly something faster, but in this case, we will only be hearing 30 second notes. So, I encourage you to think in beat groups and think where you heard notes that were uh, within the Takadimi framework and where you heard notes that were outside of the Takadimi framework. And in those places, you will know that you had 30 second notes. Um, so, I am going to play each example three times, and I will pause between each one. You can pause the video in between each one. If you need more than three examples, then go ahead and note where I started, and you can always go back and listen again before I reveal the answer. Okay, here's the first one. One, two, three. Okay, you can pause. Here's a second hearing. One, two, three. You can pause again. Third and final hearing. Or you can go back and rewind and, and listen to them again. One, two, three. Okay, now pause the video and I will reveal the answer. Okay, here's the answer. We can't really do it in Takadimi, but I have been just doing it on ta and double tonguing. So we have one, two, three. Ta di ta 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 double tongue or where it would be really helpful to double tongue, that those are where the 30 second notes are. And um, good, so uh, let's try the six eight one here. Let me get ready to do the six eight. All right, so again, three hearings, and I'll pause, you can pause between each one. And you can go back and, and mark this time as a place to go back to if you want to hear more than three hearings. Here we go, one, Oh, sorry. Uh, remember that 6 8 is two groups of dotted quarter notes, two groups of three eighth notes. So that's how you'll beam it. You'll think of it in two beats, and I will count it off that way. Here's the first hearing one and a two and a. Okay, you can pause 
the video. Here's the second hearing. One and uh, two and uh. Okay, you can pause the video. And here's a third hearing. One and uh, two and. Uh. Okay, and now you can pause the video and go back and hear any more hearings that you want to do, uh, and then I will reveal the answer. Okay, and there is our answer. And uh, you'll see that most of these things are things that are very familiar to you. In fact, I would point out that we have my favorite rhythm, ta-di-da, twice. <laughs> we also have even eighth notes, twice. I mean, that is half the exercise. And, um, and then we also had, I actually love this rhythm, and it's one that you should get used to seeing on site. That just when you see the 16th note at the beginning and the end of that group, that is ta da da da. So, or as I used to tell my students, go out dancing <laughs> when, we, when we put words to things. So, um, anyway, the you'll see that there are a couple different ways of, of beaming two that are both legitimate. So um, if you look in the first example where I had a whole beat full of 30 second notes, I just put the beams all the way through and that is totally legitimate. We see one beat full of 30 second notes and we know what that is. And sometimes you will also see um, things divided like this. You'll see that these notes still have 16th note flags on them, and these notes have 32nd note flags on them, but I didn't beam in between the 8th note groups. So sometimes you will see them separated that way, and that's okay too. That sometimes makes it a little bit clearer where things are, but uh, you don't have to do that. So this is legitimate, and so is this. Um, those are two different ways of, of beaming within a single beat group. But um, either way, you should be able to sort of see where the 30-second notes are. And so this example, again, sounds like ta 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 di da ta 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 you know, for having said that this was my favorite, one of my favorite rhythms that uh, I didn't do it very well. Ta-ta-ta-ta. Anyway, you should do it with vigor and excitement. Um, in any case, I hope that these were helpful. And, uh, and regardless, you should go forth and practice with joy. So, have fun. <laughs>